Welcome to Lakeshore RV. I'll be walking you through your cyclone. Uh, in the very front compartment, you're going to have your battery, your hydraulic fluid, uh, big pass-through area, the spray hose nozzle. Right below it is going to be your generator. So you'll pop off the cover here. You have two breakers here. Make sure they're on. Push and hold, prime for three seconds, push and hold, start for three seconds. Repeat process if it don't start. If you run out of fuel, you'll have to prime it longer. Right to the right here, that toggle switches can control the big LED lights on the front cap. You also can do it from the one control system. For your leveling system here, you gotta push up and down to bring power to your panel here. Um, up and down with the rear jacks, so it's gonna just control the front. That's it. Um, auto level after your truck's out of the way. Hitch height is gonna be the location that you, right before you hit auto level. That's what it's gonna go back to. Retract all is gonna bring all your jacks up. Driver's side, you're gonna have your VIN, model, serial, everything you need to know about your camper here. You got two 30 pound LP tanks, both full. Regulators gonna be on the passenger side. Now they're actually to the big pass through area. Right to the right of that, you're gonna have your inlet for cable, inlet for water. Um, to fill your tank, you're gonna go here. To use the water out of the tank, you're gonna go to dry camping. To use the water off the water hose, city fixtures, winterization, hot and cold for the shower. Right underneath that, you're gonna have inlet for satellite. Black tank flush, black tank flush, you're gonna have one for the rear bathroom too. Um, before you hook a hose up to that, make sure your valves are pulled and you're, and you're connected to the ground. It's gonna be a right, right, Pass that rear middle jack here. Valves are going to be right there. You'll have a little door to access into right here on the slide out. Um, just make sure your valves are open and you're connected to the ground before you start putting water into the flush system. Going to the rear, here's your rear setup black tank flush for your rear bathroom, your poles for the rear bathroom. This Inlet for fuel is going to be for your generator. This is going to be auxiliary nozzle, which is located inside this compartment here. Turn on your auxiliary pump. It's going to be there. 50 amp hookup feed in the back driver side corner. Rear awning with a drop down porch. Coming on the passenger side. This door goes into the garage. You got your entertainment center here. TV just slides and pushes in and out has a swivel on it. Um, you do have a compartment that goes all the way through. Um, light switch here, LEDs. Can just remember, TV, fridge out here, not gonna work unless you're plugged in. Um, stove. Coming up to past the main door, you're gonna have speakers. Those are controlled by the radio in the garage. Exhaust for your furnace. It gets extremely hot, so don't have anything leaning up against it. When you turn your heat on, it will burn it. Um, water heater here. Your water heater bypass is going to be right in the pass-through. Um, battery disconnect here. You have your other 30-pound LP tank. Regulator is going to be here. This little black knob pointed to the point it forward. You'll use the tank right next to you. Pointed to the rear, you'll use the dr uh, driver side tank. So it is not automatic, it is manual. You also get out and switch it when it's dead. Going inside your camper here. Inside your camper, you're gonna when this when your camper's all closed up, this slide's gonna be closed. So the slide control switch is gonna be right to the left when you walk in the door to open that up to get to your main panel. Your main panel is gonna be inside this little door here. Any light, any switch not labeled is gonna be lights. Um, wind guard, wind control system. Um, so this system has an app too, you can control off your phone. You do also have hard switches too, just in case for some reason, something happened with the panel. Um, in and out for the bedroom, just make sure you have that bedroom door open when you're bringing that slide in. Um, by the time it connects, it'll be too late. Uh, awning. This is going to be for the big one. <laughs> Excuse me. That's going to be for the big awning off to the side right above your main door. 
So you'll have three, three of these thermostats throughout your unit. One in the master bedroom, one here, one in the garage. Um, push the mode button to go to what you would like it to do. And then adjust the temp up and down. Master bedroom. There's your thermostat next to the head. Individual light there. So you'll see these, these lights throughout your unit. Have a little button on the center. Tap the push. Uh, light switches here. One's going to be LED. One's going to be main light. Bathroom's pretty self-explanatory. You got a GFI breaker next to the toilet. Um, light switch behind the toilet. Let's go ahead and into the living room. Into the living room. This slide has two light switches. One for the LEDs and one for the main side lights. Coming over, you got your sound bar. Your sound bar is just going to control the audio inside this room for that TV as well as AM, FM, as well as Bluetooth link. Um, keys are around your sink. Your best indicator for short power is going to be your microwave. Your microwave will be lit up if you're connected to short power. Stove top, you're just going to go over the flame here and use your igniter on the left. These two light switches here, one controls all the little white lights and one controls the LEDs. Going into your garage, into the garage, you are prepped and ready for a washer and dryer as well as your back bathroom. Here, um, light switch right around this corner here. So if you look up, when you come in here, you got, again, not labeled, so these are lights. Back awning, very back awning. Side, rear awning. Bed lift control. So your bed lift control. This bed is not on chains, so you have to use the couch to guide it down. Right now, um, it is up there by pins. Let's see if we can get a picture of that side pin there. That pin there, you have to pull that. You got one at each corner. It goes all the way through the rail. So you'll have to take the couch all the way up, pull four pins, and then guide that bed down because it's not on chain. So if you try to pull those pins with this couch down, it's going to fall and hit you in the head. So please make sure you use this, cou this couch to guide that down. It will stop right where this block is here. Um, the couch will go all the way down to the floor. Radio for the outside speakers is going to be zone A. Inside speakers go zone B. Um, you have one on, one off. It doesn't matter. It's up to your discretion. Thank you for choosing Lakeshore. I hope you enjoy. And thank you again.